Hey guys, I'm on my way back home from the veterinarian. This morning I had to take a kitten to the animal doctor because we noticed that he wasn't walking right and upon further examination at home we thought he had a broke leg. I had no idea how he would have broken a leg. I've ensured that the children have been fairly hands off, not picking them up and playing with them. They're, they're only three weeks old today. You've seen the kids' viral kitten videos, or at least I sure hope you have. And also, you know that our middle son, our 12-year-old, has autism. He is on the, on the spectrum at some point. Doctors and professionals, health professionals, they're hesitant, hesitant to give a an actual diagnosis saying that a child is this, that, or the other, and they just say, well, he falls somewhere on the spectrum. Some autistic children are more functional than others. We are thankful that Daniel has what used to be labeled as Asperger's, and I know I pronounced that wrong. Y'all know I have. I'm just a big dumb hick and I say things wrong. But anyhow, the doctors no longer call it that. They just say he's on the spectrum disorder. But anyhow, I, I digress. He doesn't show empathy towards other people or towards even other animals other than cats. Cats and bunnies. He doesn't even really like the, the dogs. We, we thought that he would. When he was nine, he wanted a pet deer, and we couldn't find him a pet deer, obviously, so we got him a goat, and he loved, loved Rosalina when she was a kid, and he was bottle feeding her, and he was so good at that, but as she got older and became, you know, a, a, a stubborn adult goat, then he kind of fell, fell away from that, but anyhow, and I'm going to pan over here, and I'm trying to drive and try not to wreck. I have this little kitten and we thought he had a broken leg and Daniel was heartbroken and I didn't know what to do of course I took him to the veterinarian but I was heartbroken too not just because the poor kitten was hurt but because Daniel he didn't want to come with me and so I kind of had to leave him at home and I left him at home in tears and that's just something that, I'm going to pan back over here, that's just something that doesn't happen. And so it's a very emotional day. And so I, I, I drive 30 minutes to our veterinarian of choice, and there are other, other wonderful veterinarians closer, but, but anyhow, that's besides the point. The poor kitten is born like this. It's not a broken leg. He has a clubbed foot and his leg is twisted. And the, the veterinarian said that the, the leg needs to be amputated. I'll show you the leg when we get home. But she said that the kitten wouldn't survive the surgery at this stage. That he's just too small and too weak. He's the, he's the runt of the litter. He's the smallest. And I do, I kind of feel bad because I haven't checked them over, but I had no reason to think that there was anything wrong, and there was nothing that could have been done about this any earlier. But her other option was to humanely euthanize him. And I just couldn't do that. Okay, so that was not a decision that I wanted to make today. The veterinarian, Dr. Lee, said that he doesn't appear to be in any kind of pain. And that he's always been like this. And so we're not going to make that decision today. I do want to turn him over and just let you see. And there's the leg. That's why we thought it was broken. Now you, you're going to say, well, why haven't you noticed this before? Well... Honestly, it's because we have four children in the house and they have been on strict orders not to pick up the kittens. But for comparison's sake, there's the brother. 
That's a brother. They are three weeks old today. Hey, sweetie, I'm making a video. But look how cute they are. So, we're not going to make any kind of decisions just yet. Once he gets older, in three or four weeks, we will we may make the decision to have that that leg removed. She is concerned because the other leg is also deformed that his quality of life may not be as great as it should be. But there we go. And here, there's one of the little Calico sisters and the other Calico sister. She did say that we need to, to try to bottle feed him to give him some extra nutrients and to make sure that he's able to nurse with Goldilocks without the other kittens. Yeah. Dad, there's something wrong with his eye. Well, it just hasn't fully opened yet. I mean, it's open, but he just keeps it closed. There's nothing wrong with his eye. There's nothing at all no, wrong with his eye. He has, he has eye boogers, that's it. He's got a little eye booger. Well, there you go. That's our emotional day. So God bless. Bye-bye.